now the first step is to re restart e anti cheat service now for this type in services in windows search box and then click on services and then find e anti cheat service here you can see make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted now once done now you can check still not working the next step is to if you receive any kind of error message while uh, starting this service just ignore it follow the next step now the next step is to repair uninstall and reinstall ea anti cheat now for this you can go to ea website the link is provided in the video description this will take you to the official ea website scroll down here you can see ea javelin anti cheat installer you can make uh, click on it and then let the download complete now run this exe file click on yes to allow and now click on repair over here click on okay go to the game installation folder wherever the game is installed select the complete battlefield 6 folder click on select folder and let the install complete once the install is success over here now you can relaunch the game and then check still not working select bat from the drop down option select battlefield 6 over here and then click on update over here and once the update is success now you can relaunch the game and then check still not working then select battlefield 6 once again click on uninstall again click on install now once the install is success now you can relaunch the game and then check still not working then select battlefield 6 once again click on uninstall over here do not install close this launch the game when you launch the game during the launch it will install e anti cheat now now it will install ea anti cheat and then you can check still not working the next step is to run ea anti cheat game service launcher as an administrator so wherever the game is installed if the game is installed from the ea app you can click on manage properties click on open folder and then over here you can see ea anti cheat game service launcher make a right click click on run as administrator and then check if that does not work you can make a right click on the game exe file click on run as administrator and then check you can even open sp folder make a right click on the game exe file run as administrator and then check for many user starting ea anti cheat game service launcher as an administrator has worked so you can try this still not working the next step is to change language revert back once able to launch the game now if you have the game on steam make a right click go to properties uh, you can select any other language uh, once you select any other language it will go through an update once the update is complete launch the game and once you are able to launch the game you can revert back to the original language do the same thing on ea app you can click on manage and then view properties and over here you can select you can revert to any other language click on save and it will once you do that it will change the language once done now once done you click on play and once you are able to launch the game in the, then you can revert back to the original language right right now you cannot do it because it's changing the language once you are able to launch the game come back and then you can switch to the original language and then check and let me close the game for now now the next step is to add both the game and the es games uh, ea anti cheat game service launcher to exploit protection now for this type in exploit protection in windows search box and then click on exploit protection program settings add a program to customize choose exact file path go to the game installation folder and then wherever the game is installed open the game folder select the game exe file click on open and then put a check on override system settings for all the option and then you have to turn this off like if this is on you have to turn it off this is already off turn it off again turn this off these are already off turn this off once done hit apply click on yes 
and do the same thing with with ea anti cheat game service launcher select this open it again and put a check on override and then disable everything and then once done launch the game and then check still not working disconnect internet now turn off the internet connection or you can unplug the ethernet cable if you have the wired connection once you turn off the internet now you can it will go offline the e app or the um, steam will go offline and then you can launch the game from here once you are able to launch the game uh, you can once the game is open you can connect to the internet once again and then it will go online now the next step is to turn off smooth motion now for this you can type in uh, open nvidia app on your computer and then you can select uh, battlefield 6 you can go to graphics and select battlefield 6 over here and then over here if you see uh, like smooth motion you can scroll down here you can see smooth motion if this is on you can turn it off go to global settings turn off smooth motion and then relaunch the game still not working if you have this device you know, like application running like if you have daemon tools running make are active in the start menu go to task manager if you find daemon tools over here in my case i don't have daemon tools running but if you have daemon tools running over here uh, you can just make a right click and then end task this is just an example now now go to device manager make a right click in the start menu go to device manager and expand this uh, expand this storage controller over here here you can see daemon tool make a right click disable device in my case i have already disabled under universal serial bus control make a right click disable it and then you can check if you have this ds4 windows running rewsd running auto hotkey joy 2 key razor synapse corsair icue face it anti cheat riot vanguard logitech either mouse yellow mouse drop top application if you have this running close it rain meter game companion app running close it and then wipes wipe port or wipes vr software you can close it make sure that you end the process in the task manager and if you find these in device manager you can make a right click and disable these devices if you have this xvdd sc si in mini port in device manager somewhere you can just make a right click and disable it in my case i don't have it now if you find Corsair bus in device manager disable it you can even uninstall this application close all third party application like if you have vlc codec wallpaper engine msi apps disable uh, close it disable or uninstall this zaparate application crypto pro punk buster delete punk buster uninstall it from your computer uninstall goodbye dpi app troubleshooting is not limited to these application if you have any third party application or services running close those application and its services in the task manager and disable it in the device manager if present next is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program now if you're using windows security open windows settings go to privacy and security privacy and security windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add and allowed app browser apps go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on open and again browse all apps select this ea anti-cheat game service launcher open and then browse all app open this sp folder select the game exe file click on open now type in control panel in windows search box click on control panel system and security windows defender firewall allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder wherever the game is installed open the game folder select the game exe file click on open click on add in my case it is already added allow the app once again and then click on browse once again select this ea anti cheat game service launcher open add it again add it in my case allow the app browse and then open this sp folder battlefield 6 open add in my case it is already added once added launch the game similarly if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, add all the three exe files to your antivirus program. Run EA. We have already done this. Next step is to create new admin account, Windows admin account. So open Windows settings, go to accounts, scroll down, go to other users, add account.
now over here click on i don't have this person's sign in information now click on add a user without a microsoft account click on it you can create a username this is just an example if you want a password enter the password if you don't want leave it blank and then click on the new account click on change account type set it to administrator click on ok and then restart your computer or log out and log in to the new account which you have created and then install the game once again and then relaunch the game next step is check or uncheck dlc now for this you can go to steam if you have the game on steam select the game manage my dlc over here and you can uncheck this hd texture one and then uncheck it relaunch the game. once you uncheck it it will go through an update let the update complete and then check if these are already unchecked you can put a check and then try ea app users modify install and you can uncheck the hd1 update install and once that done launch the game if it is already unchecked check it so try both uncheck and check dlc and then check next step is to disable all mods before you launch the game if you're using frosty frosty fix you can disable the mods and then launch the game next step is repair or verify the game files if you have the game on steam make a record of the game select properties and then go to install files tab click on verify integrative game files after the verification launch the game if you have the game on ea app click on manage over here click on repair after the repair launch the game next step is to uninstall the game go to the uh, if nothing is working you can uninstall the game after you uninstall the game go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the ea anti-cheat error with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel